Hi, I'm Natalie. And I'm Megan. And we are Hiding Hiding from from Our Husbands. Hello. 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 (laughs) So, I wanted to say, uh, welcome to TikTok. Hi, TikTok. Yep. Um, now you finally will get to see your Instagram reels, you know, when they were posted two months prior to making it to Instagram. So. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, fun fact. Uh, Nat has somehow managed to stay out of the TikTok realm this entire time. Like, since, I mean, what was it, the pandemic? Said, like, 200 a day. <laughs> yeah. That's, I feel like that's every... Friendship, though, like, isn't that what friendships are now? We're just like sending videos, literally, reels, and, like, that's all we do. Brian said the other day, Natalie was really bored today, they haven't gotten a lot today. And I go, Oh, really? Because she sent me like 30 TikTok, like 30 Instagram reels today. I didn't know she was bored today, <laughs> I had no idea. Because at work, all I kept getting was because we had a podcast up and playing, and all I kept seeing was. Natalie sent you a real. Natalie sent <laughs> yeah. you a real. Natalie, and I was like, "Guess she's not working right now." <laughs> yeah, I get on rolls. <laughs> what can I say? Um, but yeah, I, I, when did TikTok come out? Like during the oh pandemic? My God. Yeah, like right before the pandemic. Yeah. So I managed- well, actually, you know what? TikTok was out far before that. It First just all, became super because popular. Because TikTok, it's like a whole where it was like Musical.ly and TikTok. And right. like one, TikTok bought Musical.ly and then they combined. And I just never had literally any of it. Yeah. And then the pandemic happened and... Everybody was locked in their house. Everybody was shit. And I started yeah. watching TikToks and learning TikTok dances. Yeah. So, and sh- she'll send me TikToks all the time. I have managed to stay out of the TikTok realm because I was like, there's no need for me to have another... Uh, ADHD paralysis app on my phone um, and it finally got to the point that you know we decided that we wanted to do this podcast and she was like what about TikTok and I was like you handle the TikTok and so she started to make it and I was like now I feel kind of gu- like guilty Maybe if we TikTok. It, yeah I feel like I need to make a TikTok because I want to be able to interact with people on all platforms not just Instagram and like through the email that I set up and stuff mm-hmm. And through here and YouTube. And so I finally broke down and yeah, I made a TikTok. I will admit that I haven't allowed myself the pleasure of an ADHD paralysis mode on TikTok yet. Are you okay? <laughs> There's a hair. Uh- <laughs> okay. Just joking. Um, haven't gotten there yet, but I, I will. Have you noticed uh- where I sent you stuff on TikTok? I saw that you sent me something today, but I didn't get the chance to look at it. Through TikTok? Yeah. Like, I, in, in Yeah, TikTok. I saw that. I also don't Because I was have, like, because we don't have, like... I don't have notifications turned on for any social media. I don't have notifications turned on for TikTok, and there's a reason I don't. Because once upon a time, I made a comment on somebody's video. Oh, God. It wasn't bad. It was ADHD related. Uh, if any... Not let anybody... Okay, but do you get, like, notifications on. now all the time? I get shit ton of notifications. I'm... Are you TikTok popular? No. Oh. No. I made one comment on a guy's TikTok. All okay. right. His name is, is Dom. His name is Dom. I think his name is Dominic, but it's like Dom. He's like in the military. Okay. Yeah. Um, and he made a video that said like, yeah, I have ADHD. Um, it was like all, all that ass or... And then, like, how do you get all that? <laughs> all that ass. All that ass. How do you get all that ass? It's ADHD. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And basically, what, and I commented and I was like, I didn't realize how early I was to his video. And I comment, I just immediately clicked on it and my brain just went, this is now the only way I will ever refer to my ADHD. Yeah. And I, since then, just get notifications of likes to it. Like, to the point where at first I was like, oh, my God, yeah, like, look at all these. I got to turn my volume down just in case something spicy opens up when I open up TikTok. <laughs> Don't we all? Um, when it comes to her, that's my Instagram anymore. Like, I pull up Instagram oh, Target. and it's all the book talk. Target. <laughs> oh, okay. But, but it's all I want you to see my notifications right now since the last time I opened TikTok today. 
for those of you that, that can't see, uh, since she's not showing you the phone on YouTube, and for those that are listening on Spotify, she has over 99 notifications. And that's just from today? No, oh, it's just from today. Specifically, just like one hour ago, let's see. 778 others liked your comment one day ago. Yes, that was just one day ago. Okay? I'm gonna... This is, this, this video, this whole thing was like two months ago, all right? This is my Two keyboard. months ago. This is my, our, our setup. Okay. Is, uh, I, <clears throat> it keeps falling asleep. At first I was like, oh my God, like it's really catching, you know, it's really getting a roll to it. Like, yeah. awesome. Like, well, you get excited. excited. It's like, I came into work the next day and I was like, my coworker's name, she has the same name as her. And I was like, hey, like, I was like, look at this. Like I have 8,000 likes yeah. on this Comment. comment like that's insane. On one comment. Eight thousand likes on one comment. You wanna know what it's at now? Oh, it's gone up. It's gone up. Fifty one point two thousand likes. Fifty one point two thousand likes yeah. on a comment that says the only way I will describe my ADHD from now on. That's crazy. And I almost need to hear exactly what he says. Hold on. We're holding. Maybe I should just turn it up. All that ass. Damn, he got a fat ass. <laughs> How we get all that ass up in them jeans? Damn, he got a fat ass. <laughs> yeah, I got ADHD. Yeah, I got ADHD. <laughs> That's absolutely hysterical. Yeah. So, and the thing is, is that, like, I saw one of his videos, and it was the one where it was like, don't leave me alone with your kids. <laughs> and he was like, wait, 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 wait. I think you sent me that. Yeah. yeah. And and I saw the one video and I was like, ha, that's funny. And then I was just like, his video after his video. And I was like, yeah. damn, kid. And then like, yeah. every time I watch one, I'm like, you're fucking hilarious. Good for him. Yeah, good for him. I'm glad he's doing really well. He's just being himself. Yeah. Hey, man. That's the best way to be anymore. Yeah. But yeah, no, going back to previous conversation, um, I have no notifications turned on. For any form of social media. I also don't have notifications turned on. Like I live my life in do not disturb. Because I have anxiety. And if I have my phone turned on. And I have notifications turned on. It's like every time I feel my phone vibrate. Or every time I hear it go off. The world is ending. (laughs) You know it's like impending doom. When I look at my phone. Especially working in the insurance industry it now. Is, your phone's go off constantly. It goes off all the time. So it's at the point. My Logan looks at me and he thinks I'm crazy because of that reason. Like I am my business. And if a client calls or texts me, like I have no idea unless I'm looking at my phone. And, I, and he's like, how, how do you live that way? You just never know what's happening in your in in the world and I was like no I'm just living in my own bubble okay well about TikTok yeah so I feel like there is a deep depth of TikTok we didn't solve the problem no we didn't that's why I have the keyboard uh my the screen keeps yeah yeah the screen keeps falling asleep if anybody knows how to make your screen stop going to screensaver mode let me know we were trying to figure it out it's not working it's it's a Mac yeah by the way it's Um, not working I just got distracted TikTok. TikTok. There's, a deep, There's a deep depth of TikTok that you have met. Like, you got into it a little bit in Instagram, but book talk. Yeah, we need to talk about it because, girl. Book talk for TikTok. Because, like, now we talk about book talk and yeah. you're like Instagram reels. Yeah. You're not in book talk. Like, you haven't found, like, book, book, talk, book, talk, book talk, like, like, whimper audios. I need you to send me those. <laughs> <laughs> I... Have I never used to read? Neither and did I. Remember reading for me? Yes. Reading for me was a clear sign that I something was, in was wrong. She was deep depressed. Depression. Like deep bad. Um, if I didn't hear from her, I knew something was wrong. And you know that's why you were always like, "Is she taking baths?" I, I would call. Is she reading? Yeah, I would call Brian, and I would be like, "Why haven't I heard from our wife? Because she's our also my wife." wife. And he would be like, I don't know, she's upstairs. And I was like, is she in the bathtub? And he was like, I didn't hear the water running. Is she reading? I don't know, maybe. Why does that matter? And I was like, she's your wife. If she's reading, that means something is wrong. She is depressed. 
I'm on my way. <laughs> I I would never, I never read, would read. Like I hated reading in high school, mainly because it was a requirement. My mother was an English teacher and, you know, she would read all the time. She had papers and she would help me. And, you know, it was an environment. It was a vibe when I was in school. But as I got older, I started to read more, but I read history books. And, you know, that was my thing. I, I wanted to be a music history professor. And last year, was it last year? No. Early, did you just realize candles were burning back there? They've been burning for the last four hours, Maggie. Is that, are you sure that's just coffee? <laughs> you made it for me. Are you sure? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but it was. I didn't this, think they were real. Yeah. They're the candles from my room. From the tables. Oh. That's a lot of tiny trees. Thank you. They're all over my house. We'll go on a tour. It's not like the rubber duckies where you find those random places, but I'll, I'll show you all the trees. Okay. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so earlier, I think it was this year, I was finally like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to go out on a limb and I'm going to do it mainly because I, I really love Jamie Dorn. And... I have never seen the Fifty Shades movies. I've never seen them. But I wanted to read the books because I'm the type of person that like I want to know I want to read the book before I see the movie. I've only seen the first one. Well, I've there, seen clips of like I the other. I think others. they're on Netflix now. Mm-hmm. All of them. Um so I started I finally broke down and I bought the books. And I read the books. And, and those and like like Fifty Shades is like mild compared to like and I know that, mm-hmm. but I, this was the first time that I was like actively exploring that aspect of the world. Prior to that, things had always been just like, I guess what I would say is normal for everything. It was like fluff. Yeah, it was fluff. Mm-hmm. It, it was super fluffy, you know, it was a marshmallow. So I, after reading the Fifty Shades books, which I even, I got so invested in the story. This is the problem with me when it does come to reading. I get invested in a world that doesn't exist. And fictional men. <laughs> it's a fictional man. My hat keeps falling. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Chrysler. <laughs> it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Uh, happy holidays. We are not recording this immediately after or uh, I guess our it, intro episode. No, I don't know what you're talking no, about. No, we just happen to wear the same exact clothing and mugs, mugs and whatnot. Um, see, it's different because we have things on our heads now. Exactly. Yeah. So um, it's smart. different. Smart. Yeah. So I decided instead of buying a whole bunch of physical books. I'm just going to get uh, audiobooks. Oh, I thought you were going to get like a Kindle or something. Well, we're talking about getting an iPad. iPad so that I can put all of my cookbooks onto the iPad for cooking. So I don't have to take those. Good those. idea. Yeah. But I was like, I, this kind of ties into my recent hyperfixations. I need, I, I like to fully envelop into something like a world when it comes to to that kind of a vibe right Mm -hmm. i don't know about you but the number of times that i've been trying to read something and it gets to a point and i hear anything i don't care what it is anything i'm instantly pulled out of it instantly pulled out of it and it ruins everything for me like even now i have audible and I'll be Sponsor listening. Us. <laughs> Seriously. I, I also have you, you have taken a lot of my money so I far. Do. I think I have Audible. It's amazing. I love a lot of the um, I think the I voice used a, a code from, from another podcast. <laughs> to get it. Yeah. It's... Shout out the basement yard. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I um, listen to you guys a lot. I have listened to... 
I, I just got it like a month and a half ago. And I have listened to like 20 books so far. I think I have some things in my library on Audible, but I haven't actually gotten the chance to listen to them. Well, it's, it, they're like hours. Like not, it's not like, oh, this book, it's a seven hour recording. No, I'm listening to books that are like 24 to 30 hour long recordings. And they're full worlds and I'm fully invested and I like don't want anything else going on. Well, see, the thing is, is like, I can't, like, I have a child. Yeah, I don't. So, like, I get I have dogs. Things. But that's the thing is, like, I can, like, like with that app, like, with yeah. Dipsy, like, yeah. I, which is, yeah, huh, yeah. That's, that's just yeah. porn. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. And I would just walk around my house and do things. And yeah. I have held a full, full conversation with Brian while still listening. That's, see, that's impressive because I, was reading, I was not reading, I was listening to. I mean, I paused and started over and over again, but like. Oh, okay. I was listening to, uh, I think it was Akatar, one of one of the, the books in the Akatar series, which I absolutely love. Which I, I have you. not. I want you to. As much as I read I this kind to. of stuff, I have not read that, nor have I read that with Adeline, Ad- Addison, Ad- 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 Hunting Analog? Yeah. I oh, that's completely that. different, but that one you really do need to. Hunting at Haunting Adeline and Hunting Adeline. You need both of those in your life. Like I just I don't know. I don't know how you are able to hold a conversation while listening to that. Because I will be upstairs in bed. Logan is down here watching football or setting up his lineups, doing whatever he wants to do, right? Those are our times alone. I am crocheting in bed, listening to, you know, Akatar or what, whatever. And this man has the audacity to come upstairs, <laughs> interrupt my piece and start talking to me. There's not a, like, are you, can you hear me? Are you paying attention? That he doesn't come over and nudge me. Like none of that. He just starts talking and over what I'm listening to, I hear him in the background and it's, I have to pause it and und- and look at him and go, what do you want? And I, I start seething. I get pissed because he comes at the most inopportune moments where it's like I am currently in my head being railed by a <laughs> seven foot tall fey prince with purple eyes. What are you doing? What are you doing to me? And then I have to restart the whole thing after he lets out his football team. Like introduce you to some of these Call of Duty men. <laughs> you should. Especially because yeah. there is like a, almost like a seven foot tall Call of Duty guy. Well, I don't know if he's actually seven foot tall, but that's like. He's like, actually, I think he's like supposed to be like 6'10". Okay. Yeah. I mean, tall. Like, we get the point. A tall, jacked, fey prince. And you just want to start talking to me about football. What the fuck, bro? Yeah. No, I don't care that this player is going to be benched <laughs> i just i don't it's got nothing to do with me yeah i mean i was also like between like listening to that but i would be trying to read and i use i use what pad okay when i read okay because obviously i read more fan fictional based okay so like you can read any book picking up one of those books is mm-hmm. stressful to me because i don't know any of the characters but you built the characters. That's the but fun that's the power. I can't do that. On TikTok, there are people that are like, "Oh, they're like older these older guys," and I'm like, "Am I just like in the like that old that like because like the oldest is like 38, and then the one that they just recently I'm very upset about off uh-huh. in the most recent game is 28." Okay. I'm like, man's only two years older than me. We, I mean, we kind of delved, we, well, we, we spoke about it in last week's episode, but we're both married to older men. Yes. I know I've always been into older men. Like, I have found guys my age attractive. Yeah. Same. But older men, and I don't know if it's the masculinity I think it could also just be the fact that, like, guys our age are just 
incompetent. <laughs> Valid. Uh, well, yeah, but I mean, like, I don't want to go as far as saying it's the masculinity aspect because <clears throat> my husband is a child. <laughs> he a is. Child. It, it, that is his nickname. He is the man child. Um, so Brian has, Brian has a lot of, like, man childish. Yeah. Like, like obviously so you're seeing but, more and more of it. Yes. The lot more you spend time with him. They're not the men that we wish we had that are written by women. No, they're not. You know, not like, in any aspect. I don't know what it is, but they just men written by women. It's a problem because it then makes women, I think, look at their man and go, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. Why can't you just be that? Like, what the hell? Why is it really that hard? I don't know. I mm. I don't it's know. Okay. Brian, I gotta say though, like Brian's not that, but he tries. At least he tries. You know, like there are definitely things where I'm like, dude, but then I'm like, that's right. Like those men aren't real. <laughs> so um, it makes me so sad. Yeah, it's so sad. But yeah, book talk, I uh, I do need to delve more into yeah, that. Yeah, there's so many different. And then, and then there's a new element introduced to, to book talk, which then I got me thinking, because I was, it was biker, like the bike, Oh, oh, bike, oh, bike I, yeah, I know all about that. Bike talk. And then I was like, like, what the hell? Like, what is it with all these masked men and men, like, with bike helmets on? Like, I don't want to see you without a helmet on if you're on a bike. Like, I just, it's not attractive to me. I want to see... The dark helmet, usually the one that's like reflective. I don't have. And it's like something about like not being able to see a man's face. (laughs) I don't know what it is. It's the mystery. Maybe it's the mystery. By the way, I still have a cold. If you hear me sniffling, I think they figured it out. Yeah. Nothing's changed in the last four hours. (laughs) Yeah, like she said, we literally just I put on a Santa Claus hat. She's my reindeer. Here we are. <laughs> so what? Um, what's your latest hyperfixation? Oh, like last we talked about the pole I have. She has a stripper pole in her house. In my bedroom. In her bedroom. That's even better. Yeah. It'd be funny if it was in your living room. <laughs> that was a possibility, <laughs> like a possible place to put it. Yeah. But um, it's just like no room for stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like you have so much room. I know. I do. House. I do. It's very open concept. Yeah. Even though every room smells different. Yes. <laughs> Mine's, my house is not like that. Um, but, so it, it's up in our bedroom. And, um, yeah. Now, I have been sick and just overall feeling like shit. So, I have not done very much on it in the past few weeks. But, like. And have you had a, a separate hyperfixation because of that? Because you haven't been able to utilize your current, so other than, I guess, previous one? Other than, I always sometimes worry that, like, the reading is, 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 is like, is a hyperfixation that, like, when I start reading, oh. it's only because of that. Just, like, who <laughs> knows? This could be a hyperfixation. Uh, this is probably 100% a hyperfixation. Just, if we fall off the face <laughs> of the earth at any point, it's because this was a hyperfixation. We might come back to it. We don't know. <laughs> Fair warning. Um, yeah. Because, especially when we started talking about this, yeah, we both dove in hard. Like, the, this it concept, was hyped, fi- hyperfixation. A, like a hyperfixation. 100%. Dive. This, this concept this was came about, about hey, let's talk like, about this again later. It was just all of a sudden, it was all we could, we could talk about. It was like last week, and we were just like, we're doing it. Yeah. And I was like, okay, here's what Spotify guidelines... I'm making the YouTube. I made us. Here's this mood board. We got an Instagram. We got a, a yeah. email. We and here we are. Ta-da. Ta-da. Yeah. So, but the reading for me, I think it's the listening. I, I don't really. I guess I can't classify this reading. It's the listening. <laughs> Is a hyperfixation for me while I'm doing another hyperfixation. Which is, I guess, weird. 
I, I've been uh, crocheting like crazy. That's become, that was hyperfixation one. And I was crocheting while watching uh, the blacklist. <laughs> and I finished the blacklist. And I was like, I need something else to do while I'm crocheting. Because otherwise I'm just crocheting in silence. Yeah. So then I started with the audiobooks. And it became another hyperfixation to the point that, like, I'm, as soon as I wake up in the morning, my headphones are on, I'm listening to a book. And that's how I go about my day. I will stop when I need to. And, you know, whatever. But that's my hyperfixation. I have also severely, for the past three months, hyperfixated on Harry Styles. Yeah, I think that's what most of these Call of Duty guys are. Or is, a hyperfixation. Hyper yeah. Because, like, I, I go through that phase. Well, like, I go through different character phases. Okay. Like, it's, like, and sometimes it was real. So, like, at first, yeah, first, first ever hyperfixation, I think, of a character for me. Oh, my God. First ever was probably Batman. I was, like, a teenager. was Batman. Valid. And then, like, it, like, would morph. And then I have, like... It like, all makes sense. And you've one's been... not even a character. One's a real person. But you've been in a Zach mask. Zach We've both been you've there. You've been in a masked men your whole life. Full circle. It's not Harry Styles as a person. He's a wonderful person. A gorgeous person. Inside and out. It's his music. That's the only thing I will listen so you're to. Obsessed with I, I, it's the only thing I will listen to right now. I you know what? I, I went through that with Taylor Swift though recently. I last year, you know how Spotify does the, the end of the year yeah. things? Bo Burnham was my entire Spotify. Because <laughs> it was all uh, he was all that I listened to last year. He was my hyperfixation last year. This year, it's Harry Styles. Apparently, mine last year, mm -hmm. according to because I use YouTube music, because mm -hmm. um, I like a lot of covers and stuff that mm -hmm. don't make it to like the other things. Mm -hmm. um, according to YouTube music, mine was Morgan Wallen. Okay, not surprising in the least bit, um, and also. Megan Maroney. Now, I like her music a lot. Yeah. But also, I found that she soothed my crying child. Anything to soothe so crying, maybe. So, I played her music constantly. And yeah. I mean, I like it a lot. Like, I listen to it a lot. Yeah. But I don't think I normally would have listened to it the amount I did. Right. And apparently, that threw me into the 0.1% of listeners from Megan Maroney, and I've listened to her music 83 times the amount of anybody else. There you <laughs> go. For, and I was like, oh, look at that. And I really wouldn't make a post and be like, thank you, Megan Maroney, for calming my, my, crying, my baby. crying baby for the past nine months. Yeah. Because this is how this is how this has happened. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's weird. Do you get hyperfixation foods? Oh, yeah. What's your spin? Um, what's the most recent? Hot chocolate. Really? Yeah. Oh. Like the the most recent hot yeah. chocolate. I have been having at least one mug of hot chocolate a night. Do you think it's because of the time of year? But it's also like chocolate milk. Like I almost like shifted from chocolate milk uh -huh. to hot chocolate. You, okay. Temperature change. Got it. Yeah. Um. But I've had some interesting ones. Like, I had a waffle thing for a while. Like, I was, like, obsessed with waffles. Uh, yeah. Like, I would just, like, all the time yeah. pop waffles in. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Mine, I, the biggest one that I remember having, like, the one that lasted the longest was pancakes. And I just thought we were just All the time. Those were pancakes. My most recent has been grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. I've gone through that before. Yeah. I've gone through grilled cheese before. Grilled cheese sandwiches. Um, have you ever gone through one that's, like, uh... Like a super weird like side dish or kind of like, like uh, one of my cousins actually it's you cottage know what? cheese and that's so weird cottage cheese cottage cheese you know what well you know what Brian was she about knows now? who she is <laughs> <laughs> with your cottage cheese fixation you know what Brian if you ask Brian right now what my hyper fixated food would be uh -huh. he would probably say French fries I think it's milk. 
Well, that's 100% of the time. There's yeah. never... You a, have a never, problem when it comes to milk. <laughs> that, that has never gone away. That's not even a hyperfixation. That's just my, my entire life. The french fries, though, I could... Okay. Because, like, we have that, like, deep fryer now. Yeah. <gasps> okay. Yeah. Yeah. And he would, he'd, like, he'd be like, what do you want for dinner? And I'd be like, I don't know. I'm going to want french fries. I was like that with onion rings for a little while. To the point that I was being made fun of for it. Yeah, no, he was he was pretty much making fun of me for it. Then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he'd be like, really? Again? And I was like, listen, sir, you asked me. You get mad when I don't know what I want. I and when I do know. Want, and now you're going to judge me for it? Make really? my damn waffle fries. <laughs> oh, wait, specifically waffle fries? Well, we bought, it's whatever we can get at Sam's. So, oh, like, okay. at like one point in time, we bought a box of fries. And yeah. I mean, a box. I mean, like, it literally it was a, a box, box of fries. There was, like, five big bags of french fries in it. Wow. Yeah. And then, um, this because they didn't have waffle fries. I didn't know that you could buy that many french fries at once. Yeah. The more you know. I mean, it's Sam's Club. That's a valid point. And the last time we went, they had the waffle fries. So we okay. got waffle fries. Yeah. And they're just different deep fried. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. From Everything is different. Like, I don't care what goes with it. Because he's like, what do you want with it? And I was like, I don't care. Just, I just want french fries. Just give me fries. Well, so there's the thing. Like, by the time this episode comes out, Logan will be back. But Logan is currently... While we're filming this, he's still in Las Vegas. <laughs> um, and I have been cooking just for myself. And, if you know, I'm used to being like, hey, honey, what do you want for dinner tonight? There's nobody to answer me. <laughs> it's just it be anything. <laughs> it's just me. I can have whatever I want. So, I, like, that, that has been, like, literally girl dinner has been my dinner. Yeah. Where, right now, you know, we've got, a, you can't really see it, but we have a plate of meat and cheese. A little bit of it. Yeah. It's right here. We got meat, cheese, and some cookies. Girl dinner. The good kind of cookies. Yeah. The the Christmas tree cookies. Yes. <laughs> um, That's my dinner. That's actually, like, the only thing I've eaten today. I have leftover chipotle at home. When I want to get home? I don't have leftover chipotle. Like, Because I, I got chipotle last night. I might have to run to Wawa. <laughs> Wawa. Wawa. Well, go- now you know which one of the states we live in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can narrow it down. Um, and yeah, that it's been it's been really strange for me because if I wanted to just have French fries for dinner, I could, mm-hmm. and nobody would be around to judge me for it. And it's so weird. Do you want to get closer to the microphone for an ASMR moment? <laughs> I would really prefer if you didn't, because I'm the one editing this. <laughs> now I have to. <laughs> but now I know what it was like when Brian worked out of town. Yeah, when he worked away all the time. Like, I, I don't know what to do with myself. It's really weird. I think it's time to do our um, Santa I want. Santa I want. Yeah. Okay, explain the concept of this Santa I want thing to me. Okay, so it's, you're, you're basically saying, you know, what you want for Christmas. Genuinely? It could be genuinely, but it also could just be funny things. So, like, um, for instance, like, Santa, this Christmas. Yes. <laughs> I want people to start turning their turn signals on before they turn it on while they're turning. That is triggering. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me think. Or it could be an actual item that you want. Henry Cavill. Oh, well, that's, that's a valid one. Yeah. Not really that possible, but. You never know. Anything is possible with enough sparkle and effort. <laughs> yes. Sparkle. <laughs> um, Santa, I want to be able to go to the bathroom without my entire family being in there. Oh my god, the dogs! The dogs 
the husband and the baby. My husband leaves me. Well, sometimes he leaves He started me. getting better at that. And I think it's because I've started giving him an attitude when he comes into the bathroom and he gets really butthurt about it. And I'm like, I just want to pee in peace. Please. Like, I just want to not be around someone. For and like, minutes. like, let me go to the bathroom by myself, please. Yeah. Like, because any other time I'm followed by the dog or, or I, the, with the child. Like, please just let me be. If I go into the bathroom to do anything... And I don't let Rosemary come in with me. She sits outside the door and stares at it and waits until I reopen it. Oh, she doesn't. Does she like cry? Or she's no. She just sits there and stares at it. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's a problem. Yeah, but she's also like. Like obsessed with you, like she, you're, yeah, you're her I've, person. I've never had a dog be that obsessive over anybody. Really, she is my shadow. It's weird. Uh, Santa, I want. In general, people to just be better drivers during the holidays. Like, what is it with the holiday season that everybody like? That can't drive comes out of the works and it's just like, yeah, I'm going to get behind the wheel even though I can't see and I'm just going to swerve into oncoming traffic. Like, what? what is it? What is the deal? To add to this. Yeah. Santa, I want mm-hmm. people to have to retake their, driver's their written yeah. and actual physical driver's tests at yeah. the age of 65. I agree. I think that that's valid. Why is it that my brain can't process simple math, but it can process what it would feel like to lick that table? But it's a smooth table. I could lick that tree and know what There you go. I was going to say, give yourself some more credit. (laughs) What house do you think I have? I would have put you in Hufflepuff. That's exactly what everybody says. (laughs) Everybody says I'm a Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Now, I don't know much about it, though. Hufflepuff? Because I have only ever seen the first movie. What? <laughs> Sorry if that was really loud. <laughs> and I just blew your eardrums. What? I've only ever watched the first movie of Harry Potter. Just like I've also only ever watched the first movie of Fifty Shades of Grey. Well, I haven't watched any of those movies yet, but I've read all of the books. Um, have you read all of the Harry Potter books? I No. I never read up until I started reading Smut, and all I read is Smut, and then there's no Smut in Harry Potter. All right. Listen. I need a full, dedicated weekend. (laughs) Okay? We will have a slumber party. We will have snacks. Bring Amelia, (laughs) because she needs to be exposed as well. And we're watching Harry Potter. Now, see, like, my Harry Potter, so, like, Harry Potter is, like, your Roman Empire. Like, mine is, like, Marvel movies. I love Marvel, too. I've seen every Marvel movie probably multiple times. Brian will watch them on repeat. I uh, Yeah. Well, they're very entertaining. I, I'll come down and I'm like, oh, cool, you're watching Avengers again? Yeah. For, like, the thousandth time? I will watch, I didn't get into watching the Marvel movies as much until Logan and I got together. Because mm. he's big into Marvel. I was always, like... Well, I guess I always had something because I had a, I had gave it up to, and I don't know why I gave it up. I know who I gave it up to. And honestly, like, it was a, for a good cause. But like, it sounds like you're talking about your virginity. That was not for a good cause, but <laughs> um, that was three seconds. I wish I could get back. Um, I think we all wish we could get that three seconds back. Uh, <laughs> I had a life size cutout. Of Captain America. Was it the America's ass version? Well, it was like from the first Avenger, like the first, the first, the first Avenger. Oh, yeah, okay. it was from like Captain America, the first Avenger. Oh, it was like okay. his first ever movie. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had a life size cut out of Orlando Bloom as Will Turner, and like that was because we did a superhero, we did a superhero picnic one year 
Mm -hmm. My mother always did themed picnics every summer. There was some kind of superhero, like, some kind of theme. This one was superheroes. I dressed up as Captain America for it. Yeah. And um, my mom had happened to be in a Toys R Us for a reason. For what reason? I don't know. Toys R Us still existed? At the time, yeah, this was high school. Wow, so this was the this was probably trying to think what year this probably was. Probably like 2013, 2014. Oh, okay. So Toys R Us still existed. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess this was around the time the movies had come out, and some some movie, one of the Captain America movies came out, something like that, and um, they had the life size cutouts there. And they were breaking them down, getting ready to throw them away. And my mom said, hey, can I buy that from you? I'm doing the superhero picnic. It would be so funny to have, mm-hmm. like, a large size cutout of Captain America there. Mm-hmm. Not knowing she was fueling her daughter's, like, obsession with Captain America and Chris Evans. Yeah. Older men. <laughs> older men. Older men. Mm-hmm. Um, so... She brought it home. But first off, she was like, I'll buy it. And they were like, well, we don't even know what we would like charge you for it. We're throwing it away anyway. It's like, take it. Yeah. So she was like, great. Thanks. Took it. Um, and uh, brought it home. And I was like, oh, like, look what I got. And she like opened it up. And I was like, oh, <gasps> <gasps> it's Captain America. He watched you sleep? Oh, yeah. What a creeper. <laughs> yep. My entire high school bedroom... <clears throat> you walked into it okay it used to be my brother's old room he moved out went to college and it, the walls were basically this color okay they were i think a little less on the cooler side it was a little more warm blue filled what warm blue like this yeah like a warm toned and cool toned I feel like blue is cool toned as it is. But you can have different, no, you can have different levels of I need to see an example of warm versus cool toned blue. Okay. I'll get you an example, I promise. Okay. Um, like an ocean blue. That's like a warm blue. Like, as soon as you walk in, it was all movie, like, memorabilia. But it was all Pirates of the Caribbean. That was my OG. Orlando Bloom. Orlando Bloom. Um, like, I had action figures. Like, whole action figure scenes set up on my bookshelf. I had the Orlando Bloom Will Turner life-size cutout. I had uh, Legolas as well, because, I, I, you know, why not? I love Lord of the Rings, too. But I had posters. My mom had gotten me, I think it was my mom, uh, um, Pirates of the Caribbean Outworld's End calendar. And each uh, month, you know, it was a d- different. I ripped that shit apart, and I taped the, the calendar all around my room, on the ceiling. It was everywhere. I had a similar thing to that. Um, I, do you remember, like, the teen magazine? Yeah. Okay. Well, there was a special teen magazine that came out about the Jonas Brothers. I also had a Jonas Brothers room. And I took it because it was, like, posters included. And it had, like, literally, like, 30 posters in it. Yeah. And I ripped out every single one of them. Uh-huh. And they were, like, literally just the size of their normal. Uh-huh. Like, my, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I taped them all over my wall. <laughs> my OG, though. However, though, you were also a very big Backstreet Boy. Yeah, that's... I was just gonna say my OG was Backstreet Boys. Yeah. Still am. And, like, I... To this day. More, 
NSYNC, but I also wasn't super into Backstreet Boy or or NSYNC because mm-hmm. I was on the edge of Big Time Rush. I forgot they existed. Yeah, I can't. Wow. Uh huh. They I'm came out with a so, new album this year. I'm so <laughs> sorry that I I did. I forgot that they existed. Yeah, I was. I went to their concert. Sorry, I gotta fix my my pants. I went to their concert. I I think they were they were my first concert that I ever went to. It was Big was, Time Rush. Who was my first hold on, I gotta think about this for a second. I was a low I was a well, I was I was Logan girl. <laughs> I, I honestly I think but he was considered to be like the nerd, wasn't he? I don't know. And I, I had went, when I went to the talk. concert, I went with my, my brother's ex girlfriend. I think they were dating at the time, but like she took me to it. I think my first concert was the Cheetah Girls. Really? Yeah. My dad had gotten me tickets one year for Christmas. He did a whole um, treasure hunt for me. Oh. Because I had a hyperfixation of pirates. It was all things pirates. Makes sense. And uh, he built me a treasure chest and everything to bury the tickets in and he buried it in the backyard and gave me like clues and uh, a key and everything and it, they took me to see the cheetah girls that was my first concert well and then all hell broke loose from there i am sick of being a toast <laughs> <laughs> i just want to be a twinkie again uh yeah because after we had amelia i did not go back on birth control because i pcos i didn't want to like f up my hormones any more than they already were yeah but i also have not been like really like taking my supplements and doing all the stuff i'm supposed to be doing anyway so like make sure i actually like have my cycle right Um, so obviously like we, we, we obviously bought protection. Don't really use it. <laughs> but so we're holding out because we're waiting for my insurance to kick in come the new year. Because when Amelia right. turned a year, we were going to start trying for yeah another one. But now I'm just sick of it. Well, it's messy. Yes. You know? And they have it's no he, remorse. No. As far it's, as, and no sense of urgency. See, that's that's what I was going to ask. Is he a gentleman and, like, actually goes and will get you a towel? I mean, and, like, yeah, like, he'll go and, get, yeah, after it'll take him, like, five years to do it. But he'll mm-hmm. go and do it. But it's on you. Yes. But what doesn't bother me is that it's on me. What bothers me is that it has the potential to get on the bed. Yeah, well, yeah, because then you have to, like, strip Can it. you hurry up? I wasn't a toaster strudel very often. If that ever occurred... What would happen, it was first unexpected, not for him, because obviously he would know it's going to happen, but, <laughs> but he would cup his hands so that I don't become a toaster strudel. Mm-hmm. He'd catch it. No, Brian likes to see it. He'd catch it. Uh, he's done that a couple of times, but he always feels bad. No, I don't. And think, I, he doesn't feel bad. But I told There's him. There's no remorse. I told him, it's okay, and he was just like, but. But, but the difference, not. also, the difference between us is, is that like, your husband seems to be like a, a once a done. He is. And mine's a. Puts it back. <laughs> yeah. No, my mine is a once and done, which. <laughs> that's a whole other thing. Mine's a mine's a. Can go multiple times. Yeah. Well, that's where the unicorn comes from. Yeah, he is a unicorn for that. Because I, I I, have tried so hard to get Logan to, he, he can't. He just can't. physically can't do it. He physically can't do it. And it's, it's fine, whatever. That just means later in a couple of hours, you better be ready because. That's the funny thing is, is it? Because there's sometimes where like, it's been, and I'm like, okay, leave me alone now. And you're like, 
He's like, I'm not done. I'm like, no, no, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Yeah. You're done is all over my back. So you're done. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> done. Done. I yeah. I don't. I don't know. The it's less messy to be a twinkie. Yeah. If you're not using. Yeah, but there's protection. there's also there's another side of it. There's a serious TMI thing, but I think it's really fucking funny, and I feel like I I should share it. I don't necessarily want it on the internet. I mean, if you take, but it, we're out, here. take it out, we're uh, here. Yeah, we're here. You can, you can, you still have time to decide. This was a couple weeks ago. It, I was shocked because it was like constant, like every day, which was surprising because he's never been like that. So I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" But he used protection, pulled out. And I told him, you need to wait, but he didn't wait. He pulled out, looked at me, looked down, looked at me, and went, it's gone. (laughs) And I went, what? (laughs) What do you mean? I'd be lying if I say that hasn't happened before. He was like, it's gone. It's not. And I was like, you did put it on, right? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, where did it go? Abracadabra. And I was like, do I need to stir up? Like, what is this? It was like, fully relaxed. So I did. I fully relaxed. I'm laying on my back. And he just, he was like, oh God, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it with two. I was like, you fist it. You I don't care. care. Find it, bitch. Just, I am fully relaxed. You just go all the way up there. So he did. And he was like, I can't. I can't. I can't. So then I started trying to like push. interesting mm-hmm. well so it's um technically christmas eve oh shit. you know what i mean <clears throat> merry christmas merry <laughs> merry christmas it's so merry christmas yeah hanukkah ended you know over a week ago happy what holidays Kwanzaa? Kwanzaa? um Kwanzaa? i don't know when Kwanzaa is i don't know either happy holidays happy holidays when is New Year's? New Year's and Christmas are always the same days. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So, uh, yeah. New Year's Eve, we'll have an episode out. Yeah, next week. Maybe next week will be more structured. <laughs> Someone else is doing that last time. time. Yeah. It is currently 11 11, make a wish. <gasps> I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> You're the one that said make a wish! <laughs> it's not time! I'm just hungry. Same. Okay, we're gonna go get food. Um, <clears throat> enjoy your week. Don't work too hard. Have fun. And Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>